Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Sandy here. I hope you like my beautiful butterfly. Today I'm going to show you how to make one almost just like this, using paper towels. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple of more materials that you're going to need to use. Put that one down for now. Okay, like I said, you need a paper towel, one paper towel. You're going to use different colors of food coloring, like red, green, blue, and yellow. Some water to mix with the food coloring. I have little bowls to mix each coloring in. Four little bowls. A beautiful color, any color that you want, that you might have around the house, a pipe cleaner, so you need a pipe cleaner of any color. I'm going to use googly eyes. Here's some two little googly eyes and some glue. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the colors together, mix the food coloring together. Okay. I'm going to open it and I'm going to put two drops in a bowl. Put some water in it. That red is finished, if you can see. Now I'm going to put two drops of each one of these colors in each bowl. So I'm going to two, put two greens. Two drops of blue. And two drops of yellow in the last bowl. Now I'm going to pour a little bit of water into each of the other bowls to mix with the food coloring. Okay, there's my green. You see, I'm just using a little bit. There's my blue. And there is my yellow. Okay, now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper towel it's a square. Now watch carefully. I'm going to fold it in half. One time to start with. Then I'm going to fold it in half again now to make a square. So that's two times. I'm going to take that square and I'm going to fold it in half. That's three times. It. Now I'm going to take it and fold it one more time. So that's four times in all. And I'm back to a square, but much smaller this time. Okay, now I'm going to take your square and dip the corner, each corner, into a different color each time. So I'm going to take one color, one corner, dip it into the green. A little bit. Take another corner, dip it into the red. Just briefly, you don't want to get it too, too wet. Another color, corner, dip it into the blue. I have one more corner left. And dip it into the yellow. Now, See, it's pretty wet. So I'm going to open it up. Very carefully so that you don't tear it if possible. If you do, it's no big deal. Now, I have a beautiful paper towel. All different colors. Okay. It's pretty wet, and I really can't make my butterfly when it's this wet. So what I'm going to do, and what you'll need to do, is let it dry. It takes about an hour or two. If you want to make it this evening, you might want to make it before you go to bed, then get up in the morning and it will dry, 
whatever you want to do, but it will take about an hour or two. Okay, I'm going to take this and lay it over here so that it dries. Now, I'm going, I have another paper towel that I already did, used earlier, that I colored earlier, so that it would be dry, so that I could show you now how to make the butterfly. Okay, I probably don't need this anymore because I don't need the colors. I'm going to take the butterfly, I'm going to take the paper towel, colored paper towel, and I'm going to gather it in the middle. Fold it a little bit so that it's gathered in the middle, holding on to it. And then you can see, I'm making the middle body part of it. And I have on either side some beautiful wings. You see that? Now I'm going to take one of my pipe cleaners, I have a red one. And I'm going to wrap it around the gathered part. Okay, and I'm going to wrap it a couple of times. Maybe once or twice, around one time down here. And one more time so that the wings, that the antennas are up on top. Like that. Cleaners are fun to just move around because they're, they're easy to shape. Okay, and there's a beautiful butterfly. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my googly eyes. Well, actually, I'm going to put a little bit of glue where the eyes would be. Right here. And I'm going to take my googly eyes and put it where the eyes would go, where right on top of the glue. And it stays on. And here we are. Now I have a beautiful butterfly. Another beautiful butterfly. And you can do anything you want with these butterflies in your own room. You can put them on the wall if your mom will let you. You can hang them. You can make a few of them and make a big mobile out of them. Put them on your ceiling. Or you could just play with them and fly them around like this. They're so much fun. Isn't that pretty? I hope you enjoy my butterfly. And you enjoy the lesson. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.